man, Superman has had a bad few years. Not just in the movies where he was killed off and brought back in the silliest ways possible, but also in the comic books where his character has been pretty much completely destroyed. He was estually assaulted in prison in a comic book. His son was given the title of Superman instead of him. His son was then turned into a gay character and a gay pride activist actually who wasn't really fighting crime as much as he was just in protest rallies with his pink haired Asian boyfriend and of course they took away his catchphrase truth justice and the American way now I am not an American person but I am a massive massive Superman fan and have been since I was a very small child I absolutely love that character and I've never had a problem with him advocating for America. It only seems to be radical left-wing lunatics in America who have a problem with America. And that has been the case for some time, but now, in keeping with this pushback and new direction revival effort for Superman, they brought back the catchphrase. I am very happy to see that, and you should be too. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. And if you're enjoying the content and you'd like to help me and the channel to grow, please hit the like button and that one down there somewhere, the red one that says subscribe, I think it says. Anyway, let's get into this article at Bounding Into Comics because this is a good day for the blue guy. Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons brings back the Man of Steel's iconic truth, justice, and the American Way motto. Out of all the changes Tom Taylor bleh, made to the mythos of Superman, son of Kal-El, the most egregiously dividing, really the most egregiously dividing? Well, I suppose, was altering the hero's model from the iconic truth, justice, and the American Way to a fairly generic truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. Yeah, doesn't have the same punch, does it? Not when you see Superman there. It's truth, justice, and the American way. I mean, that's just who he is. It's the, the man he is. It's what he believes. Don't change these things. Look, even there, you can see the uh, artwork here by Final Fantasy artist, the, uh, Yoshitaka Amano. It's got the American flag in it, hasn't it? That's Superman. The new slogan proved to be so badly revolting to a number of well-established DC creatives that uh, one of them, colorist Gabe El Taib, ab abruptly quit the company a year ago and went to work on Ripperverse. Very good. Well, fear not, good citizens. There is a sign that the pendulum is swinging back in favor of the old school fans who preferred Superman and his catchphrase the way they were. Those little words the American way are restored in Warner Animation's latest DC feature, Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons, uses the iconic maxim coined in the days of George Reeves and black and white TV at least once. A clip from the animated film has surfaced online. In it, Superman is flying above the clouds with his son Jonathan on his back, a doting dad. Clark is explaining to his boy what a true blue hero is when he utters what everyone hoped to hear. My job, my real job is helping the world, he says, standing for truth, justice, and the American way, wherever that takes me. And this son doesn't look that gay either. This does sound more like the Superman we all remember. The problem is, this case could be a one-off return to form for WW, uh, WWE, WB more than a permanent one as Discovery's overhaul of WB is only beginning. Still run by and filmed with the people who think establishment characters need changing to reflect our times. That's the term. That's the new one, isn't it? A modern audience. Reimagined for a modern audience to reflect the modern world. Reflect our times. You shove it. All of it. Forever. As they see them, WBD hasn't gotten to cleaning the house of DC just yet. A small moment like the one in Super Sons is a step in the right direction, though. Yes. I mean, it's not really going to change until the comics actually begin to change because at the moment comics are stopping their existence as an art form themselves and are really yeah being positioned to just create fodder for movies this is absolutely true in Mar marvel excuse me anyway pitting batman superman and their youngest sons john and damien against the threat of starro batman and superman Battle of the Super Sons is available now in 4K on Blu-ray and digital. Very good for them. Well, look, I think that Superman is an icon, and the things he says are as iconic as the way he looks. 
You shouldn't change his costume. You shouldn't change what he says and what he believes in. The fact is, Clark Kent is a corn-fed American despite being a biological Kryptonian. He grew up in America, in, the, in all the stories. That is the case. He was found in America, raised in America, works and lives, loves in America. So of course he would support America and America's values. Freedom is a big deal. It's the thing that they're trying to take away. It's the thing that the anti-American leftists actively want to undermine. So having Superman no longer advocating for America is a good way for them to get their point across. But their point is sick, twisted and wrong. No, Superman is an American who fights for truth, justice and the American way. Hopefully that continues to mean the same thing as it always has before long. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section as usual. Like the video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very, very much. I'll be back with another video for you very soon. But until then, see you next time.